While preparing for my Bahama Cruise uh, photography workshop, I stumbled, across, I stumbled across a really cool feature with SmugMug using Lightroom, my SmugMug account, and WordPress. What we're going to do is we're going to create inside Lightroom a simple gallery of these images we have that I want to demonstrate for the Bahama Cruise. I'm going to add those images to the Lightroom gallery. Then from there, we're going to go into our SmugMug account. We're going to make that particular gallery unlisted. This way, nobody except uh, myself can see those images. And then I'm going to show you an option how we can add more images to that particular gallery using images we already have stored on SmugMug. Then inside WordPress, what we want to do is install the WordPress SmugMug plugin. From there, we're going to add the images from the SmugMug gallery into my WordPress post. So then any changes I make inside SmugMug or even in Lightroom automatically gets updated on my new WordPress page. All right, let's get started. So inside Lightroom, we're going to create a gallery. And in that gallery, we're going to add our images. And the easiest way to do it would be just to right mouse click and then create a gallery. From here, we're going to give the gallery a name, and then we're going to set a location for that gallery itself. Now, I, I already created workshops, so I'm going to cancel out of this. I already created a gallery called Workshops, and inside that gallery, I have the Bahama Cruise, and let's say we do another one in uh, Sedona, Arizona. Then in there, I would just right mouse click here, create another gallery, and then name that Sedona or whatever I want. So now we actually have that set inside Lightroom. I added the images, and then from here, we just click on Publish, and it goes up to our SmugMug account. So now let's get to our SmugMug account. So the final image, or the final goal that we want to work on, is importing these images into our SmugMug gallery. Let me go here first, get back up. Here we go. So we have these images in our SmugMug gallery. I want to take those images and put them on a post page here using WordPress. So the first step we already did, we created the gallery in Lightroom and it gave us a base to work with. And what that did for us is it brought us in here. And if you notice, it says unlisted gallery. So if I were to put this in visitors view, Notice, nobody can see that gallery. Um, I'm going to come out of the uh, visitor's view. And let me just back up one. Here we go. So here's the entire gallery listing that we have. Notice how Workshop is showing up. Again, that's because we're in owner's view. If I change this to visitor's view, and I go back to my all galleries, there we go. Everything shows up except my Workshop um, gallery, because again, we left that unlisted. And if you think of unlisted more as a private gallery, we go back, owner's view. So here's the first tip. I already have a really cool um, nine images that I want to deal with. Those nine images we're going to use inside WordPress. I'm going to pull those images in, and right here is the source code that allows us to do that. And the neat thing about this plugin we come to the bottom, is it gives you all of the information right here to, in, to input into your post. And how we get that information is really simple. I'm back into my SmugMug gallery here. I'm going to click on Share. And then from Share, we're going to come down to Get Links. Now, under the Get Links, I'm going to click on Feed Links, and here's my RSS feed. I'm going to copy that. Now, let me just back out of this so we get ready for it when we come back. There we go. Now I'm inside WordPress. From here, I right mouse click into that RSS URL feed um, box, click paste, and there it is. I set what I want here. In this case, I use the tiny thumbnail so I could fit as many as I can across the page. It's going to ask me all these different options, or it's going to give me these different options that I'm able to take. Personally, I like to get rid of the display captions, and then I don't, I don't sort the photos by the date. I just leave them as I have them inside SmugMug. Now, when I click on Send to Editor, 
from here, it's going to import input this particular piece of code right here. Then when I view it, this is going to be our result. So that was pretty neat, again, how we used Lightroom to create a gallery. From there, we go back into our Smugmug account, and then we take that gallery, and under Settings, we're going to change the gallery from public to unlisted. Once, we're, once we do that, of course, we hit Save. I'm just going to hit the Back Gallery button. We hit Save, and now that gallery itself is private. So this way, we could do whatever we want with it. The public doesn't see it, and the only time they're going to see it is when we link it into this area here. Now, one of the added bonuses that I also figured out how to do here is if I want to add more images to this gallery itself, I'm going to back all the way out. Let's go into Models. Um, let's go here. I'll use Alley. And under Alley, let's find, um, you know, that's a, that's a good one we'll use. So I like this image here, and I want to add that to my workshop gallery. So if I click on Share, I'm sorry, Tools, then under Tools, we're going to go to More under the Many Photos and Collect Photos. So I like this image. I'm going to click on it. And now notice what it's going to ask me here. Pick a destination gallery. Well, if I click on this and go to Workshop, Bahama Cruise, Save. Now let's back out of this completely again. Now this time when I go into my workshops here, Alley was added to there, or to that gallery itself. Now that's really cool because again, I didn't have to use Lightroom to start organizing all of this. The only downfall with that is when I go back to my Lightroom uh, gallery, I'm not going to have this, it's not going to be synchronized here, which is fine because again, this is a personal or a private collection of different photos that I want to use for the workshop. And then I don't want to have to flip through all my categories here to try to find them. Now when I go back into my Bahama um, post from WordPress, notice it's not here yet. When I hit refresh, the image is going to reappear. Now notice the image isn't back yet. That's because we have to wait for the RSS feed to propagate. So within a few minutes, by the time we're done with this tutorial, that particular image will be back here. So there we have it again, a simple way to use Lightroom, WordPress, and SmugMug to add a special post to where we can have private uh, images in a gallery, and we can import those into um, our WordPress uh, post. So for more tutorials, please check us out at www.exposurepas.com.